The transfer of two Cyclone-class vessels to the Philippines has been officially launched. The United States has announced its intention to transfer four more patrol vessels to the Philippine Navy, aimed at supporting the modernization plan of the armed forces of the Philippines, particularly the Philippine Navy's maritime capabilities. The transfer in question consists of two island-class patrol vessels and two protector-class patrol vessels from the United States Coast Guard. The island-class patrol vessels are cutters used by the United States Coast Guard, modifications of highly successful British-designed patrol vessels with excellent range and seakeeping capabilities. The island-class, all named after U.S. islands, replaced the older 95-foot Cape-class patrol vessels. The cutters are equipped with advanced electronics and navigation equipment. The island-class vessels have a full displacement of 165 tons and can reach speeds of up to 30 knots with a cruising range of more than 5,300 kilometers. The vessels can operate autonomously for up to five days and can accommodate a crew of 16, including two officers. The vessels are equipped with SPS-73 radar and a motorboat for descent. The armament consists of a 25mm MK-38 Mod-0 Bushmaster tank automatic gun mount and two 12.7mm M2NB machine guns. Typically, armament is dismantled on ships transferred abroad. However, the ships transferred to Ukraine have the artillery mounts but without the barrels installed. It is reported that the Ukrainian Navy plans to install 25mm machine guns from the old Soviet 2M3M gun mounts on these mounts. The newly designed 87-foot protector-class coastal patrol boats feature several improvements over the older 82-foot boats, including enhanced mission seakeeping capability up to Sea State 5, significantly improved habitability, and compliance with all current and projected environmental protection laws. The Protector class also features an innovative stern launch and recovery system using a diesel-powered water jet boat within an aluminum hull. The larger wheelhouse features an integrated bridge system, including an electronic map display system, ECDIS, linked to the Coast Guard's new SWII surface search radar. Computers with fiber optic links will also be installed allowing the crew to access technical publications and CD-ROM drawings of the ships. As of this writing, the specific ships of these classes that the United States intends to transfer have not been identified. The patrol vessels will be the latest additions to the Philippine Navy's littoral combat force, which is responsible for missions near the coast and inland waters of the Philippines. The command also recently received four Israeli-made Shaldig class warships. Given the coastal nature of the Philippine archipelago, these ships will likely perform similar tasks to those of the United States Coast Guard, such as maritime interdiction and search and rescue. President Biden reaffirmed the United States' strong commitment to defending the Philippines. The leaders discussed efforts to strengthen the long-standing U.S.-Philippine alliance, deepen economic cooperation, promote inclusive prosperity, invest in a clean energy transition address the climate crisis, and ensure respect for human rights. They also discussed regional issues and coordinated efforts to uphold international law and promote a free and open Indo-Pacific. The United States and the Philippines are seeking closer naval ties amid tensions in the region, particularly with China's increased activity in the South China Sea. The Philippine Navy is seeking more ships, and joint patrols in the South China Sea are planned for later this year.